the South Worth Library's first video tutorial. Today, I'm going to be showing you what to do with these things that are hanging up around the library. They're called QR codes and they stand for Quick Reference Codes. They're two-dimensional barcodes that you can scan with your smartphone, iPad, or internet-capable iPods. They can link to things like websites, Facebook, Twitter, videos, pictures, maps, and phone numbers. In the library, we're using them to link to our databases, to library help, book reviews, and more. The first thing you want to do if you would like to scan a QR code is to get a QR reader on your phone. To do that, you can go into your phone's app store or you can search the internet. If you need help with this, please stop by the library. All our iPads at the library have a QR code reader already installed. And I'm going to show you how these work now. <clears throat> the first thing you want to do is you want to find the QR Reader app and click on it. Once you have it open, you'll see that there is a square. You want to line the edges up of this square with the code that you're trying to scan. It should bring the web page right up for you. If not, you can click on Open This Link. Let's try another one. This time we're going to try the call feature for the help poster. Once again, I open up my QR reader. I put the edges around the QR code and I push dial. Hi, do you have any iPods I can borrow? Great, I'll be right down, thanks. That's it for today's video tutorial. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.